Yum. We'll see how that goes in testing. everyone as well hmm. hopefully we'll get that working so I came in here to set up and I looked at the book and the pencils that were out and I said Did I use polys on this? <laughs> yeah, I think I did. That's right. I couldn't ever find my brutes. It's usually right here on the shelf with all the other things. I know what those are, I know what those are. It's like somebody just came into my room and grabbed some pencils and left. That's what it's like. I don't know why I would have taken them out. Oh, well. That's how it is. Would like to find them, but I don't want to spend the time in the stream looking. bizarre. It's going to bug me, but we're just going to leave it. We're just going to leave it. What? I didn't say to do that. Let's see, do we remember? A lot of nice pencils in there. Pins. Have it put away. I do really need, need to take some time to get my get my space reorganized I'm trying to remember what brown I used and why is it not out I want to say I use one lip brown, burnt sienna, burnt umber. Yeah, I think it was those three. Okay, I think I did finish
try the warm gray. How was everyone's weekend? <laughs> How was your weekend, Noelle? Yeah, go like this. Just put in some deeper shadows in here. trying to think about our weekend it's usually it's the same stuff I decided not to go to the reunion um, mainly could because I don't know who is gonna come I didn't want to be the only one for my class there But the first thing out of my husband's mouth when I told him about the reunion, he said, don't go. <laughs> I think it was more due to that he didn't want to have to deal with with the puppy while I was gone. I call him puppy, but he's a year. I guess that's still a puppy. I really call all my dogs puppies, but... He's closer to puppy than they were. They are. Let me just sharpen. Because I couldn't take Tyler with me. Then it was going to be the whole time. I said I was just staying an hour. But it, it would have been... And then the driving, I guess, an hour 15, I don't know, hour 30. Anyway, my husband just, he looked at me and had this little smile on his face saying that he basically didn't want to deal with Tyler. And I know I need to straighten that out. I just don't know how to do it. I suppose I should ask my dog training friends. Uneventful. Okay. Yeah, mine was, ours was kind of uneventful too. Full. which I suppose is good Try to think think of things to talk about while I'm coloring away here. Some some people just have the natural ability just to talk about all kinds of things. It could be that's just their personality, or they're trying to do something with a log. Um, what do they call it? Log no, that's that's. Is it called? I don't know. Whatever YouTube does. 
I was going to say logarithm, and I think maybe <laughs> that's a, uh, a mathematical term. Maybe that is the one. Any, whatever YouTube does, that fouls people up. This other channel I watch, it's a Storm Chaser channel. And algorithm, that's what I'm looking for. Hey, Don, thanks for coming in. Anyway, maybe it's something to do with that. I don't know. Hold on, I'm getting an error message. What? What? I'm still live? Okay. Oh, no. It seems like every time I get on here, try to get the computer going, one or both of the apps I use um, decide to wig out. Oh, you need to change this. Oh, you need to change that. I suppose I could be proactive and try to um, make sure it's all working before the day. But that would be a lot of work. Let me see. What else? Mm, what is your favorite coffee and or tea? I would say or tea. But if you like both, you could put both. Right now, my favorite coffee is Tim Horton's coffee. Um, one of the YouTubers my husband watches is Canadian and is always, he said, is always talking about Tim, uh, Tim Horton tea, uh, coffee. And I said, okay, I'll order some and try it. And it was so good. I ordered, I kept ordering until I couldn't order. <clears throat> I bought some more, which is nice. Tell you what, when I use polys, it takes longer to, to get a picture finished because this constant layering and so I'm going back over with the is that per number per center per number yeah because it was darker and on top of that I was using a gray I might go in and use one of the darker, um, one of the lighter colors. Yeah, sorry about Friday. I just wasn't feeling well. Just wasn't feeling it. Hey, 
Kinney, thanks for coming. You're out of coffee, oh no. What brand of coffee was it that you're out of? I'm trying to find out uh, coffee recommendations. I like to try new coffees um, when I know somebody enjoys it and says, oh, you gotta try this coffee and that coffee. Pretty good. I, oh, I need. I still need some of this lighter brown. This is burnt sienna. We might finish the clock today. <laughs> oh no. Hey Elise, thanks for coming in. I'm just working on this um, clock. I do love the polys, but I like the speed of the Prismacolor. <laughs> you can go so much faster. Maybe I should just color faster. Color faster, color faster. Still haven't gotten any. What I need to do is live next to an art store that might have single, um, there we go. Uh, individually sold light fast but I don't know if they do that if I had an art store I would try to sell just a variety of things let's try this lighter color on top here If I get off the page, I'm sorry. Oop. Bye, Brohan. Hopefully my coffee will be delivered a couple days. Oh, a couple of days, darling. Just go to the store and get some. Or run through a fast food and grab <laughs> coffee, please. I guess you could drink tea. Before I got onto coffee, I drank black tea. Um, I like that, I think it's called Azo. Azo? Azzy? One of those. <laughs> I think it's Azo. Tazo! That's the one. Yes, I, I like that tea a lot. And, but I've had other, other black teas too. And that was, uh, that was my coffee. Every morning I would have some tea. And I would say, tea tastes like what coffee smells like. Because coffee, t 
to me has um, it has a sweetness not a sweetness that's not the word I'm looking for I don't know it smells like tea should taste oh I know I was going to say there's it, it's got two different things going. You've got the smell of coffee and the taste of coffee. Are two different mechanisms in your head, right? In your in your brain. And apparently my smell always loved coffee, but my taste didn't. And I, I've heard other people say that they have trouble with that too. And it's kind of bizarre. I think, What's going on with that? It's a little bitter, but you know what? I want to go darker. No, I better not. I think I'll put some yellow here. Here and there. Gosh, if I colored the whole thing, it would look gold. Mainly, I'm just trying to get like highlights. If the sun were hitting it, something like that. Mm, Nespresso. Oh, I like Nespresso too. Instant coffee. Instant coffee. I try not to run out of coffee. But um, my husband will, he'll look over there and say, do I need to get you some more coffee? Actually, um, I have to order the regular from Amazon. And strangely, you can get the decaf of Tim Hortons in the local store here. Do you think they would have the regular... Um, the regular one. I don't know. Maybe more people like the decaf version. I don't drink the decaf as much as I used to. It's pretty good. Oh, did you hear it? That was the last of it. Oh, no. Glad I looked up. This is brown ochre brown ochre now with adding that yellow it almost looks looks more um, gold than brown I'm not sure I, I like that I mean, really, there's not much I can do with that instead of, unless I just erase spots, you know, a little bit. I suppose I should use something different for the highlights or just nothing. I could just use nothing. Yeah. was too too gold not that it's bad to have it be gold it's just I don't I didn't want it to be I do need to carve out some 
highlight spots anyway. Hmm. So it's a cold morning, huh? It's not, uh, it's not cold today here. I'm kind of thinking we may have a warm May. Which may or may not be, may or may not be <laughs> a good thing. This is called negative drawing. Okay, that's better. That's better. I was losing my depth on adding that. Adding that yellow. All right, stop messing around with that. Let's go with some green. I might use this warm gray five, six. All right, I may use this warm gray six on, uh, on this leaf. Do you ever have those split second moments when you think it's a different day than it is? Whoa. Yep, yep. Chromium green opaque. For a split second, I thought, is it Friday? So a friend of mine talked about a Friday live stream, and so I kind of got it stuck in there. Is it Friday? Should I check my alarm to make sure it's working? No, it's Tuesday. That's so funny. Now, what was I doing with this color? Green earth. Not sure. Oh, I was using it on here. I think I need something lighter. Hmm. I could go with gray, I guess. I've never used the, well, I'm not never, but I haven't used the cold gray in a long time. I'm not sure what it'll do, but let's see what happens. another green hey Annette thanks for coming in I'm just trying to see about that leaf and how I want to proceed. Mm. 
So the grays seem to me to be sort of a blender, in fact. Which I kind of like that. Oh, look at that. I must have really been working on that one. Here's green yellowish. Hmm. Well, let's just start over with not start over, start this. I'm gonna leave those edges just in case I want to add those. Add something to it. Home green opaque. I'm surfing. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, I asked how everyone's weekend was when not everyone was here. So, how was your weekend? One of the YouTubers I watch is Storm Chaser. And he was saying how, how crazy and unfair really um, YouTube is on their algorithms. And you gotta press, you gotta have your, your watchers click the like button and notification bell. I know why they do it now. It's because if they don't, it messes with the algorithm. And I kind of think that's on the other thing he was mentioning. Uh, I think that's, that's terrible. Sorry, I need to finish my sentence before I start another one. Um, yeah, it just seemed unfair way to do it <clears throat> and then he, he said uh he always says to hit the like button and then he's commented that maybe a certain video didn't get um pushed forward like uh some of the others because he was quiet he didn't say much during that so i think Do we really, is it really that way? I really don't know. But sometimes I just get so into what I'm doing that I don't say anything. And other times I just can't think of anything to say. Not one thing. Um, why does first cup always taste the best? Oh, which book am I? Oh, which book? I actually had to look too. Isn't that funny? You think I would know this book backwards and forwards, but I don't. Apparently, there are books with other clocks in them. This is World Within Worlds. Just need to find the front page. There it is. Worlds within worlds. Gosh, don't you know that would take a lot of green and brown. Anyway. Hmm. 
using the gray again. An attempt to make some parts darker. Try this light green color. It's not, it's bright yellow, earth yellow greenish. Some of the names. We can't put enough adjectives into into our pencils, so we say earth green yellowish. Oh, which um, Storm Chaser? It's called Storm Runner. Yeah, Storm Runner. Storm Runner. It's these co two college guys. So they're having to do this stuff in the in the middle of uh, school or all summer. They don't look at just tornadoes. They look at flash floods is one of their I think it's got to be one of their favorite things because they they want to position themselves in a spot where the flood will come down so they look for look I guess look at streams and where they're going to end up uh, branching off to and so they like to watch that going down um, hail snow uh, big thunderstorms massive thunderstorms flash flooding so they look at everything they're both um, I just lost it they're they're both meteorology um, majors what would happen if I used white do I have white of course, I have the white. Sometimes I put the white at the front of the the set of pencils, and sometimes I use put it in the end with the black. I did that with the Prismacolors. Hey, Gail! Thanks for coming in. Um, I think maybe I started watching them. I started watching a different one. And I think it might have led to that one. Yeah, Storm Runner Media. That's what they call themselves. And I like the fact that they didn't have a ton of equipment. They didn't have fancy stuff you know and maybe there's people that like those and I actually like it too but I'm using white on some of this too I feel like it's not bright enough in some spots anyhow and I like that they're students and they they mean um, what's the word I'm talking
can't think of the phrase I'm trying to find. Oh, brother. Anyway, they use the resources that they have. That's, I don't know, more raw. But, anyway, they talk about a lot of different things and they ask questions answer questions they probably ask questions too but they answer questions readily and I don't know it's just they're nice and they can be very funny too so I enjoy them yes they are they're from Arizona they're almost done with their uh, fourth year college and they want to to chase storms full time. They've got this meteorology degree but they don't want to use it for some special job or anything. It's just it's just storm chasing. If they can make a decent living that way, that's fine. I just... I And I hope it gets to where they... Um, I like how this white is. Lightening up these spots that I wanted lightened. Um, what was I saying? Fiber brain. They have these road trip videos where they're just going from point A to point B or point Z, however far it is, and and they just keep the stream up and people can chat with each other, chat with them, donate, that kind of thing. So it's fun. I one today, but I have a buddy color I'm trying to finish. Mmm. No problem. My finger is just over time finally started to feel better. I, I still need to be careful because if I use it too much, it'll start hurting again. So, but I think, I think it's on the mend pretty well. It's just taking so long. Taking so long. Why is it taking so long to heal? Just is. I try to keep it all in the in the frame. I don't always do it. But I try. I try and I try. Mm -hmm. I sent it to you. Don't laugh. <laughs> okay, what are we not laughing at? This is probably going to be green too. You know what I could do is just... Now, 
I made this brown because it made sense. Okay, and this is just different. All right, I just had to see where I where I was here, so I can make those green. I mean, I guess I can make make a mini color I want, but that's what color we're gonna make it. Yeah, there's a lot of backgrounds I'd like to try, but I just have it. Like this, for instance, I have no idea if I'm going to put a background. You've got these birds flying around. So maybe a blue sky. I don't know. <clears throat> This is a little, I don't know, if you're coloring thin paper, you can put this, please put this between your paper to prevent bleeding. It's like they're pleading with you, but I'm going to use it this way. Just in trying the galaxy page, my hand would be shaking so bad trying to get the white lines done. Oh, you mean what um, Allie was working on yesterday? Yeah, that was quite something, wasn't it? Quite something. I would like to try that, but you know, you're right. There's there's, my hand would be really tired. Maybe something small or something that takes, um, you don't mind it taking a long time. Or if you mess up. But I would like to try that. So, Allie said it was Barbara Colors that showed or she watched doing that. And who did, who did Barbara Colors watch to get that? Yes, <laughs> Noel, absolutely. It looks ethereal. Hmm. Ethereal. I'm trying to think, what does that mean now? What does ethereal mean? Oh no, will I ever know? Earthy? No, it can't be earthy. <laughs> Shaking lights might be really cool. I agree with that. I agree with that. Whoops, sorry. I'm way up here. I didn't 
and change my camera position. Boy, I'm fighting the fatigue today. I saw Barbara do a Joanne Bassford page with the galaxy background and the white lines. Oh, you did? Yeah. I saw that the castle page turned out beautifully. Mm. I guess it would work on any kind of page, but you probably want something with uh, thick paper. I don't know if I'm going to make it, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to make it. went out of the lines. <laughs> mm. You went out of the lines. I would be afraid of the Posca just going all over it, but you know, I'm willing to give that a try. That might be good. Might be good instead of just straight coloring. Oh, I like straight coloring. Brown right there. Brown, blue, starting blue. This is a warm, uh, sorry, cold gray one. Just experimenting with different combos.
I'm fighting fatigue. And I don't wish to fall asleep on camera. I actually had an idea of what what I could do wouldn't because uh, coloring is very relaxing <laughs> and if I'm already fighting fatigue it's like oh molasses training outside or if just the sound of stuff hitting the window like leaves or something trash not trash <laughs> now why would you say that I that I uh, stayed up late. Sometimes the fatigue is is all fibro. But I do need to go to bed sooner, not before streams. Probably be a good deal. Probably would be a good idea. I do talk about the games a lot. <laughs> well, they're just so fun. You know, they're just fun. And just like here, there's a community of people and um, obviously people. And we play the same game and it's, it's fun. But this game we play doesn't have any shooting and stuff in it. And the the guys in the group are always talking about, Oh yeah, did you try the new such and such? And Okay. <laughs> it's a shooting game. I like this game specifically because there's no shooting other than hunting animals in it. Hunting the fake animals that are near you. So yeah, I did stay up late last night playing it. And I already know that I need to go to bed sooner on those night post streams. Yep, I already know. Just haven't done it yet. Oh, is he? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. It's just uh, embarrassing, so I think, oh, okay, well, she, she's on to me. She, she knows I stay up. Oh, no. All right, I'm 
Did I bring my, here it is. Let me see if it's really raining. It is awesome. That could be another reason I feel like this. Yep, yeah, big storm. Well, not big. Nice. Sometimes I think it's raining outside and it's really just like the air condition is shaking or something else. But this is truly rain and I didn't expect it. I thought it was going to be later in the week. So that's kind of nice. I like rain. Hey Thomas, thanks for coming in. I play a game called Ego. There's so many things to that game that it's 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 always a different game when you play it. So that's kind of why I like it. So many different aspects. Do I have a darker green? Of course I have a darker green. I could use, I could use a turquoise. Mm, not juniper. I already got that green oxide. Even green oxide. This, hmm. That is the darkest of the greeny greens. What would happen if I added turquoise to that? It might go, oh, what did you just do? Deep cobalt green. It's probably too turquoisey too, but that's all right. Oh yes, yes, that's really, really different. Let's add. Hmm. I like that. If I tread lightly here, I might be able to make this darker. We can go back over it with the uh, Cadmium green oxide. Hmm. Hey, Connie. <laughs> I'm glad you're lurking. Oh, Zelda? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, well, and thank you for sharing that with all everybody, but then everybody probably saw it. Parchment paper? Um, some people put parchment. Oh, you mean this? 
Oh, this is not parchment, it's plastic. I just put it, I've tried different things like parchment, wax, um, paper, just plain old paper. And this one doesn't make noise and doesn't move around. And so that's why I got it out. It was much better for me. Um, you can use this to put behind your page, although a small page, or you can use it this way, or you can wrap it up and use it as a, no, you may not want to do that. Plastic, yeah. You're right, I didn't put that part in there. Yes, it keeps from smearing. And it seems like, well, the oily ones, like, not oily, um, the regular ones like Prisma, uh, any other wax paste can be smudgy, but, um, Polly's are oily and they don't smear as much. But when it does, you have so much fun getting it off. I'm not sure I like how this. Brown, brown, this uh, turquoise is looking on here. Still greening. Mm. Dog's going, what are you shaking? Is it going to kill me? No, it's not. I don't know if that looks good or not, but <clears throat> that's what I'm going to go with. Love to do all of it. I think for. 
for the last bit of the string today. I'm just going to show you. Let's see, did I zoom out already? I think I, I wasn't ever zoomed in. Make you too sick. I'm sorry. All right. I don't have these numbered or what's the word for dated, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, what month I colored them in. This was a disaster. I haven't worked on that one. That one's disaster. Okay, this is one of my first ones. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but right here, if my camera keeps doing this. Okay. I didn't really like how other people did it because they would use the stuff around the turtle tortoise's face and make it dark and gloomy and I didn't want it to be dark and gloomy so I made made it bright colors this smudging right here comes from this page which affected this page <laughs> so it's kind of a mess let's see if I can do this faster all right this is one of my first ones I believe it's probably Prismacolor and I think that's actually like a glitter paint and maybe a gray, a gray silver, silver pen, I don't know, I think most of these, yeah, I think that's just paint watercolor that I dipped in and then spread over the top. And then I got the ideas for the little eye things from another channel. Now I'm like, I want to color that in. No, don't. We already, here was, uh, it's not quite a disaster. I just lost the love for it. This is one of my biggest pages. Um, this one I was watching. My Colorful Country Life, Karen, that's right. And um, I added glitter pin to it so it would be nice and sparkly. And down here, oh, I, that's what I was going to tell you. The turtle, the tortoise. Where's the tortoise? Forgot. So I posked poskid out the lines of scraggly branch around his head because I didn't want that in there. Anyway, there we go. This one, there's also lots of um, sparkly stuff in here. I might have done a few things differently, but mostly I followed uh, her often on it. Um... And then instead of making these rocks that look sort of like some rocks up here, um, I made some of them just sand. And then these ones, I just, I drew it in and had them come in um, color, not here, but in there. <sighs> My brain just doesn't want to work. So I would say you can um, use glitter pen on that. Um, I'm not real good at crystals, but I did the best I could on that. I wanted to 
do um, colors from up here. Oh, come on, camera. And so I put that down here. Just to bring it, bring it together. This is one of my first ones. I think that's probably Prisma or not sure. And I started doing things to the background. Talking about backgrounds today. This one was just, um, I don't know, it's powder. <laughs> Colored powder. <laughs> what do we call that? And then, um, what did I use for that? I think just regular Prismacolors on those. And it didn't work quite like I wanted it to, but it's okay. And I do like, do like this picture. Um, this one I followed coloring with Elena. But again, I went in and posca out some of the scarier creatures. And then I was able to color over it without any problem that I remember. I might go, if I did anything new to this page, I'd probably go uh, I see what I put on here. Okay. Yep. Anyway, I would just make it darker. This one I did follow coloring, uh, Colorful Country Life with Karen. Um, I did the water and some of the books. But I wanted the books to all be kind of the same color scheme, whatever. Red, yellow, orange, and red. And so that's what I just painted them that way. Thanks, Connie. Yeah, you are moderator so that you can post your own um, link to your your um, chat, <laughs> your websites, or not website, your YouTube channel so you, they can come watch you color. If you don't want, I mean, you don't have to be a moderator. That That's why I said, here, you can just go do it. <laughs> Mm, I believe I did follow Karen on this one too, except for the background. Um, you probably can't see it, but I was using the um, colored powder is the only thing I think of. I haven't used it in so long. But anyhow, what I did was I took some... Um, chalk pastel chalk pastels and I just use a knife and I scraped it off into a little deal and then I haven't used it in a while but this is sorry about the dogs that's what I did here and then I went back over it I'm not sure you can tell with a little bit of, did I do Posca there what the hell yeah just to fluff the clouds a little bit. Yep. So I like that one. What's next? I didn't mark these because I wasn't sure I was going to do this part of the stream. Aha. One of my favorites. I love this one. <laughs> I think she did it towards the end of the stream. Oh, it's probably. No problem. No problem. Anyhow, so this is Karen, too. I followed her a lot. Of course, I had to add some gl glitter, um, metallic paint. 
really tired of this camera. Metallic paint to some of this, just to, I don't know, use the paint and make it sparkly. Shiny. It's shiny. Who else likes shiny stuff? I think we all do. And then there's this one I haven't finished yet. This one was a disaster, but it was mostly a test. Because I didn't really want to color these pictures. I might do that one, but... I said, all right, well, I can test on here because uh, it looks horrible anyway. There's another disaster -y one. Um, I did try to recover it, but I don't know, it didn't work very well. This is all glitter gold down there. A extremely not finished one. I'd like to. What I was trying to do here was make the galaxy go th through the people and they're popping out the, the lanterns. I think it's the yellow, yeah, the glowing and the other lanterns that maybe the moon that I'm, I'm almost done with it. I just haven't done it. didn't finish the shoe it's a really good shoe and that is it on oh, I really want to find the page I was working on so I'm not um, oh gotta pick it up before the dog eats it if he's in trouble he's the dog <laughs> because I will forget about All right, I heard it hit the middle. Well, I think I have to dig more than I want to at the moment. So just remind me, don't forget to look for that pencil. The dog will get it. What page was the clock on? I forget. Okay, it was before that. Hmm. Maybe it was over this way. There it is. There's the clock. Um, what next? Maybe we can just make this, the Kirby flip through since I started that. This is one of my favorite, other favorite books, Fragile, Wor Fragile World. Fragile or Fragile? Hmm. Hey, Emily, thanks for coming in. <laughs> I just noticed you said surprise, Connie. And again, I think I followed Karen for the um, mostly the polar bear, and then the uh, the ice. But I think I went off on my own with. Um, the auroras and the, the sky behind it. I think I also followed her on the water. You know what I just noticed? How did I not notice this before? I didn't color the little guy in the middle. He blends in so well with the blue-ish and the white-ish. I didn't even notice. Well, that's something. I probably need to do something about. <laughs> and these two, 
I used. I followed coloring with Elena. This was probably the first picture I did in this book. So I just followed her for, because I really like how she did it. And even some of the background. This is so tricky. I know there's a name for it, but um, it's where you put down a stencil, a circle stencil, and you erase out of it and you get this background like that. And the other one that I did from her is the B. It's cool, especially I I like how that how they do the eye, how she's doing the eye, and that's kind of what I was trying to do over on this page, was to make it look like there's glass or a lens or something there. It's kind of fun, and of course I have to add all the sparkly stuff. This is also Elena. It's probably one of my favorites of hers. And I added, let's see, stickles. I think I added stickles to this. I haven't used stickles in so long. I need to. I need to make one of these um, three tiered carts. Um, I just lost my train. <laughs> I just need to reorganize some stuff. That's what I, I'm trying to say. Um, hey, why don't y'all talk about your best organizing idea? Another favorite. I just followed myself on this one. I love this tiger. And you see I use a little Posca around the around the butterflies. That's probably I don't know if this is my favorite page in here. Gosh. Hmm, it's a difference between those two. I think those two are my favorite. Oh, the bee. I think it does have a special name, but I don't know what it is. Mm, there's a disastrous. I mean, you really have to color. Color the iguana. Um, and, and the rocks about the same color and it's so boring. I do like the sky though. And this one was my first me creations. I might have showed it before. Ooh, sorry about the um, focus. I should make a disclaimer. All of these have sparkles and so I don't have to say it. They all have sparkle stuff. Either sparkle pin, paint, or stickles. I just love coloring with Lena's style. So that's kind of why I have a lot of her stuff. This is so big, I can't even fit it in the camera space. But I enjoyed doing this one a lot. Learned about ocean water and turning into clouds, I guess. Maybe that's what I was doing. Which is very scientific. And I think this is the last one in this book. That's just testing. Uh, this is also Karen. Uh, one of my first ones from this book. I enjoyed that a lot. But I think when it's a two, two uh, page spread like that, I probably just should do the one page and then forget the rest of it because there's so much there. Ooh. 
Have we come to the end already? A lot of TBIs in that one. Alrighty, what else is curvy? The only ones I have? Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go with something. I don't know if you should kind of pick the same genre of book. I don't know how fast I can get through. It might be some of these pages are in somewhere else because I took them out, but oh, I'm sorry. This is Mythographic Aviary. And I said at the beginning, oh, I love this. I could work in this every day. I have it. <laughs> and the first thing that st jumps out at me is you need to make the shadows darker. That's the first thing that I tell myself you need to make the shadows darker I did that a little bit on this one uh, likely these are all Prisma or Artex some kind of wax some kind of wax <laughs> I like this one. She's hugging the eagle or bird and some kind of bird. And the eagle's her hugging her back. So I kind of like that too. And um, I'm not so crazy about this one. This is another instance that I had to do a human body part like hands, hair. Um, I said, all right, I, I can do that. And sure enough, one of the YouTubers I, I watch um, was talking about doing skin. I know probably several of us do, but um, I'm trying to think who it was. It might have been Karen. I'm not certain. No, I think... I probably did a picture that had a hand in it that I saw someone do it and then I just repeated it here. So I don't know if it's good or not, but that is, this is one of my favorites from this book. Make the dark dark, yes. I don't know if it's smudging off or it's just fading off. I don't know. But like, okay, I can go darker. And it's all I can do to not grab this wonderful little pencil right here and go, oh, look how much dark you can make that if you just stop here and spend time with me. I know, but I need to get better, so I gotta do a different page. Do you ever talk to yourself like that? <laughs> and I don't think any other pages are done in there. There could be one missing, but that is a theory. Right. Oh, you know, I pulled this out. And I haven't even colored in it yet. So that would be nothing. It was upside down. Wild Winter. This is probably one that I've. Um, I can't remember. 
what something I was going to work in. Oh, I know it was. It's a book where I took the page, some of the pages out, so hopefully it won't be too bad. That's one of those start and stops. I just made a new phrase: start, start and stops. Wild winter. Start from the back. It's so much easier for me to start in the back. That one was a Christmas one a while back. I wanted the glitter on there, so that's what I did. This background inside the inside the baubles, it depends on who you're watching as to what they do. I guess it's true for anything. But some will what I was trying to do was get like a a morphed reflection of the tree and I did I used gray for some reason. So many things to color. And this was a no-go. I didn't feel it on that one either. Some of them are just going to be that way. Let's pick that one up again. Aviary, I did that. Paradise. I did Mythographic. Oh, all winter. What's the other ones I have? Magical Earth. Did I do much in that? Tried and failed that one. Hmm. There is one book that I don't have a lot of stuff in. I had previously been working. I was wondering where it was. Deep blue. oriented it with the the spine up at the top. That was the cab that I haven't finished. Is that all the only one I've done out of this book? Yeah, that's the unfinished one from last week. So I gotta get on to that one. And I think, why do I feel like there's one missing? Anyway, so that's the Mythographic and the Kirby's finished pages. Hmm. Well, my camera's bugging me and I'm sleepy. Coloring more would just put me out altogether. So I think I'll just uh, stop there. Connie, if you want to put in your uh, your face, face, your YouTube um, channel link so everyone can go over and watch you at, what is it, 1230? Well, 12.30 my time. And, um, yeah. Thanks. Awesome. 
Yes, go watch Connie. She's awesome. I enjoy her videos. You're welcome. Um, apologize for the sleepiness and forgetting words a lot, but I think uh, Thursday night I will go to bed earlier <laughs> so that I'm, I get plenty of sleep. I really should start going to bed at a decent time every night. Um, but it's so hard. The people I play with are East Co West Coasters and we got a German and an Aussie and so it's it's hard not to have them during the day but they're sleeping or at work so I have to wait and then um, they're on till sometimes my two o'clock in the morning because it would be there 10 uh, I know midnight and um, then the Aussie would be completely into the next day so you're welcome I'm glad I could get to a little bit of both of those coloring and showing different things so I might turn those into videos um, just cut cut off that part cut out that part and then make another smaller video with that all right y'all have a great week i'll see you later bye